Alright, so Guacstick, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how you can install the patches to Test Drive Unlimited Platinum. Millie has been working quite consistently on fixing as many problems that's been discovered with Test Drive Unlimited and Test Drive Unlimited Platinum. And if you're having any particular problems with the game or just want to have a more solid, uh, more polished experience, definitely get these update patches because they'll definitely improve the experience. Uh, as of, at the time of making this video, the current update is 1.08, and if you're looking to download it, it's again at the Turbo Duck website. You would just have to go into Downloads, Mods, TDU, Others UI, and then just look for Test Drive Unlimited Platinum Patch Update. I will also leave a link down below in the description as well as a pinned comment uh, if you want to check it out in an easier way. Now, I'll just show you all the different... I'll uh, just do a quick little showcase uh, going down here of all the updates like what of all the patches have done uh, just to give you an idea of what exactly it fixes so again if you want to if you need a better look just pause the video um, but that, that just gives me an idea of exactly some of the changes that have been made with the patches and is why you would want to consider getting it now I'll show you how to add it. So we have our game directory here, and this is our little uh, update patch. Uh, now, mo all the main content, we're not going to worry about Rush. I'm guessing that's Russian or something. I don't speak Russian, so I won't be worrying about that. Um, but we're going to go into the test drive limited folder in the file in the zip folder. Uh, we're going to go to Euro and BNK. And as you see here, here's a bunch of little things here for the game. Now, all you have to do is just go into the games directory that you've loaded up in another a separate thing touch drive unlimited euro bnk and what well, you just this simple it's simple as just drag all of this stuff in and pay, put it there and there you go that's all you have to do for that now basically you've already got the update patch installed you you can basically call it done but i will quickly show off what the extra stuff is now, because I wanted to show this off for a particular reason, this particular little thing here, this is the 4 gigabyte executable for uh, Test Chef Unlimited, Unlimited Platinum. Um, now, Test Chef Unlimited has a particular issue on modern uh, operating systems with these newer CPUs like the Intel's and AMD Ryzen's. Like, for example, I've got a Ryzen 2700X in my computer. And all these newer CPUs um, with all these additional cores and threads, they can't, they tend to have a lot of problems with the game, with like memory and whatnot, and a lot of people have discovered that just through a bit of playing through the game that they're, the F, the performance suddenly tanks, it goes at a very terrible frame rate, and eventually the game just crashes because it's all, it's just un un unbearable. This 4 gigabyte executable is not exactly a permanent fix. But it, but it basically makes it so that it works for a lot longer. So you can get much more game time out of it. And now, of course, if you want to know the, the best way to fix it, you'd have to go into your Control-Alt-Delete, uh, go into the Task Manager, and then you would look for... This, I'm just going to... I'm just to use something else here for an example. You you would look for the executable for Test Drive Unlimited. You go to Set Affinity, and then you would set... Uh, you would uncheck this and set the uh, processor uh, just to have to run the first CPU here. That's just to give you an idea of how to really keep it going for a really long time. The other extras I will show here are the expert bots, kinda. Uh, basically, the bots, you know, they're not particularly, the AI is not particularly very difficult. And um, this is just made to try to give them a bit more challenge, so. If you want to add it, you just go to Euro, BNK, and Database, and then you just drag and drop the AI bot purse.xml, and there's that installed. And the last one I won't be installing, but I'll sh uh, it's another thing that you, again, you'd have to go into Euro, BNK, Database, is the multiple prize cars, and basically all it does is that it makes the vehicles that are awarded as prize cars in the game, uh, it makes them regularly purchasable. Um, but according to Millie, it could potentially screw up with game progression, so use it at your own risk. But that's basically it. That's all you have to do to get uh, the the updates patches installed. And once you're done, you can just go in and just uh, start the game up as per normal, or have it crash, which actually in my case is just normal because I always have to start the game twice for some reason. Not really, sh not really sure what's that, what the deal with that is, but just get, I'm just going to show you that it, of course it all still works once we get this game up 
Yep. Now I just gotta bring it up. And there we go. That's the game is running, and that's all I gotta do to get it up to the patches. And hopefully, if there's been anything particular issues that you've been having uh, with glitches or something being a bit too difficult or wanting to add more challenge, that's all you gotta do. Is just add the update patch, and you'll get your game updated to the latest version, so you can have the the best experience possible for Test Drive Unlimited Platinum. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.